Okay, okay. Here we are, another day, another dollar. What's up, YouTube? Rasa HD here. We're gonna do an unboxing today. Uh, got some new stuff. Before we start, hit the subscribe button. Uh, give me a like, a thumbs up. Tell everybody watch some more of my videos. Okay, so what do I got here? I was kicking around some ideas on something different to do to this system. Yeah, I could add more subs. You know, get a new processor, and those things will come. But what I really wanted to try out was these tactile transducers. Uh, something to shake the seats. It was pretty affordable, you know, for about 350 bucks. You get an amp, you get a couple of these bass shakers. Um, and from what I understand, it's a, it's a pretty neat experience. So I'm gonna do an unboxing today. I got some other stuff in here too. I'll pull out um, some stuff on back order, but we'll do an unboxing. Uh, and I'll make another video installing the transducers to the, the couch. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, one on each couch and two in the rear just put all four up here. I think I'm gonna do all four on these but So let's see what we got No giant No giant uh, Knife for me. We'll just use the good old utility knife And I'll try not to Cut my hand here Right here Let's not forget Felipe sitting over there. He wants to see what's going on all right, first things first, we got some connectors, RCA. Um, this is just to um, extend the, the length of some uh, cables I have. You know, instead of buying a whole new run, I can just put this in between. So I just like having them on hand, I was out. So I figured to pick up a few for a couple bucks. Um, splitter, single RCA to, to dual. Uh, this is gonna come in handy with splitting these sub outputs. On my receiver, I have two dedicated sub subwoofer outputs. So I'm gonna split one of them, probably the rear, um, into the sub that I have in the back and into the transducer. So I needed these. And then they were pretty cheap, so I got four of them. Next, RCA to XLR. On my amplifier, the uh, Behringer, that I run the subwoofer, the two subwoofers on the front. I'm running out of RCAs because on the uh, dead end receiver, all I got is RCAs out. On my older Emotiva processor, I had XLRs out and RCAs. When I switched from the RCA to the XLR, what a difference. I mean, you get like six decibel, I think, six or 10 decibel increase. So I don't know if we're working or not, but I figured the heck with it. Oh, this, I forgot about this. Side. This, <laughs> this is in case, yeah, it's not open now, it's a rolls, in case the XLR to RCA doesn't give me the proper uh, boost in output that I wanted to see, this will do the trick. So I can, I can run the RCAs out into this and then the XLRs out into the uh, amplifier and that sh this will give me the boost. I can actually boost it up to I think 12 decibels but it's just something to, to put in between. It was like 50 bucks uh, Parts Express. Um, I gotta say thumbs up to Parts Express. I, I bought so much stuff through the years. I used to go to Radio Shack back in the day. No more Radio Shack. So Parts Express. I've been using Mono Price a little too and some other places but this is my old standby. So I got this at Parts Express as well. I'll open that up in a minute too. Let's do it now, right? <laughs> Nothing is easy. So, as you can see here, you have some level controls, inputs uh, for RCA, uh, your power here. And then on the other side, you have your XLR uh, input and output uh, another RCA line out. But at least you can kind of level match everything and, and, and bring it all up. It was just something I wanted to try out. So we'll see if it works. 
get it. If it doesn't, I'll let you know. You're going to see my cat. He loves boxes, you know. Can't, uh, can't leave anything alone. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. And I don't speak Spanish, which my girlfriend gets mad at me for, uh, since she's not from here. But uh, I can't teach an old dog new tricks, at least not too many tricks. So I'll open one of these, not all four, but just one just to kind of show you what's in the box. As Brad Pitt would say, what's in the box? What's in the box? These have some weight to them. High power base shaker. These are actually bigger than I thought. From the picture online, they look like they were little hockey pucks, but you know, they're pretty good size. I mean, I have a pretty large hand, and this, this is bigger than I thought. Um, good construction, it's hard. Uh, some heavy metal. You have a little kind of foam backing here. So obviously what I'm going to do is run some, attach some boards under this couch and just kind of bolt them on there and, and have my spring clips here with my speaker wire. So this is, I'm pretty impressed already with that. i just leave it for now. So we got those. Now, box number two. Let's get these out of the way. My dog's probably getting pretty nervous. He uh, we adopted him back around Christmas time from Puerto Rico. Uh, he was abused, and I kind of thought to myself, "God, why don't we get a dog locally?" But then my girlfriend said, "There's dogs all over the world that need adoption." So we brought him here, flew him to New York City. He had to get all his papers and, and whatnot, and now he's here and he's finally getting used to us. But he still gets nervous at times. Amplifier, and this is nothing crazy. This is just a 230 watt Dayton subwoofer amp. Like I said, this comes in a package. It was $335 at Parts Express for the amp and the four shakers. Obviously, you'll need other things. I mean, there's wiring to be run, uh, these splitters, and so on and so on. So there, there's a little more to it, but you're probably going to be 400 bucks all in when you're done. Here, power cord. Let's throw that there. Eh, pretty standard stuff. This ain't no Parasound amp. This ain't no Inga TV. Dayton. They never make this easy to get off this stuff. Ah, so what do we got here in the back? You got some level controls. Your your line outs. Uh, RCA in and out. Uh, Subway four. I'm sorry. Line ins. Uh, RCA in and out, LE, LFEs, you know, your triggers, uh, and your output to your sub. And you can pick between 120 volt and 240 volt. So, uh, build quality, it's, it's pretty heavy, you know. I think this weighs about 25 pounds or so, maybe, 20 pounds. It's not bad. Well, I like the knobs. You gotta click them in, lock them in once you pick where you want it. Uh, it's a standard size, so it'll fit all the other stuff. Not my usual purchase, but again, the state and audio stuff. When you buy some some amps for your system and you want some good amps, yeah, you know, maybe you start off with a Emotiva, Monte Price, uh, Outlaw Audio, whatever, move up to the pair of sounds one day, and then maybe we get Krells at one point. I don't know. But this little stuff, uh, I find Dayton to be fine, you know, it, it works for me. And if it, if it breaks, I'm not out too much money. Um, but yeah, so. I'm going to wrap that up for now. We're going to get all this stuff hooked up. I'm going to do a little rearranging in my rack too as well, but um, 
I get all this hooked up. Um, I'll show you the the installation in the seats, and uh, we'll do some sound test. I'm gonna have to get this. One of my friends on one of the sites is telling me to get this DSP something or another. Again, I'm just the average guy audio here, so I, I got to do a little research on that. But it's about 300 bucks for that and a microphone, and I can help equalize my subs, blend this into it, um, download the REW, and um, get everything kind of hooked up. So I'm gonna cut it short there. Thanks for watching again. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. More videos are on the way. Thank you so much.